Hello and welcome to Blue Prism Advanced Tutorials. In the previous tutorial, we have learned how to write the data to an Excel by using write collection action. Now, if you see over here, what we have done, we have created a new worksheet that is with the name of test manually. And then we have written the data inside the worksheet by using write collection action. If you observe over here, we have created test worksheet manually by clicking on right click and then we have created or inserted a new worksheet. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a worksheet by using Blue Prism Excel automation. Go back to Process Studio. Right now we are in the employee details process. Right over here, what I want to do, I want to create a new worksheet by using an action. Let me drag and drop onto the canvas. Let's double click for the properties. Over here, I will show you one thing. I'm not going to change any name right now without touching the name over here. I will show you what is the purpose of this. And then I'm going to give the business object as MS Excel VBO. To create a new worksheet inside the existing workbook, we are going to use the action called create worksheet. Let's select that. Over here, if you see the inputs that what we have, that is the handle and workbook name. We have already seen this one. Let me drag and drop the values over here. For the handle, I will go ahead for the data type of the handle number and there I'm going to drag the handle value. And another one, workbook name. The workbook name which we are going to open the workbook by using work, open workbook action, right? That value we have stored in the text data type. I'm going to drag this workbook name into the value. And now over here, a new worksheet I have to create, right? If you see in my Excel, I'm having five worksheets. I want to create a new worksheet over here like products. Okay. In that case, what I will do, I will give the text worksheet name as product over here. So what it will do inside the workbook name, which we have given that is employee details workbook, it will create a new worksheet with the name of the product. All right. Now, if you see the outputs, I don't have any outputs over here. Let's click on OK. Now, if you observe over here, when I clicked on the button OK, but the name I have given previously as action one, I have not modified that. But if you have not modified, it is going to take the business object along with the action. You can see over here, MS Excel VBO create worksheet is the name of the action it has been taken by default. That's the reason I have not given any name over here. All right, let's click on OK. Now, if you see in our process, we are having read Excel offset and after that write Excel. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete the link between these two things and then I'm going to add one more thing because of after reading, I want to create a new worksheet and then I have to write inside the data into that worksheet. That is my agenda in this session. All right, let me link them from read Excel offset to create worksheet, from create worksheet to write collection. Now I have to make a small changes over here inside the write collection because of we are going to use the products over here as a worksheet. All right, let's click on OK. Now, let me show you once the Excel once again. In my Excel workbook, I don't have any worksheet with the name of product. So once I will run my process, it will create a new worksheet with the name of the product. And then it will write the data inside that by using write collection from the cell A1, from this starting cell reference A1. Let's run the process to see the output. Process execution started. and process has been executed successfully. All right, now let me show you the output. Now, if you see over here, I got a new worksheet that is product. That product worksheet has been created and then you can see inside the worksheet that I'm having the data 
which we have read it by using get worksheet as collection offset action. All right. Now I will tell you one more thing over here. Now by using create worksheet action, we have created a new worksheet inside the workbook. All right. Now what will happen if I am going to run the same process multiple times? Is it creating multiple worksheets with the same name product inside the workbook that is employee? Obviously no. It will inside, it will check it out, the particular worksheet is available or not, and then based on that, it will try to create a new worksheet. So previously we ran one time and I, we have created the product, right? Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to rerun the process once again. Now we will see, is it going to be creating a new worksheet with the name of product? All right. Obviously it won't create anything because of in the Excel, we can have only one name of the worksheet with the same names. It should be unique. The worksheet name should be unique. All right. Now, if you see the output, I'm having only the product, but I don't have with the other names, duplicate names, I don't have any worksheet with the product. I hope you understand how to create a new worksheet automatically by using MS Excel VBO actions. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.